back for another edition of Inside the Huddle with Mizzou's Athletic Director Jim Sterk. It is February 2020 and it is busy and I think you know the busiest man in the department the last uh, four to six weeks has probably been the new football coach Eli Drinkwitz but he gets a, a, a reprieve now with, with signing day in the books and just what can you say about you know the work he's done ever since he got here putting the staff together getting the class together and, and everything he's had to do. Well, important day, brought his family back yesterday, and so they're here, I know that's important to him, but um, obviously building a family around football, and, and he's, he's really hit it, uh, hit it hard from day one, and um, just great energy. Um, you see a little bit of excitement on social media, um, mm -hmm. and, and truly was, because the, the kid was playing with him a little, uh, having an Alabama hat on, and then, and then picking Mizzou, and yeah, the, so. The rare triple fake out on, on signing day. I thought that was, it was scripted pretty well, mm -hmm. uh, but it was, um, you know, he's, he's done a really good job in embracing um, the student athletes that we have here, and then going and getting a great class. Um, the staff, uh, just a, a, a great energy around the program. Another year, another conference title for Brian Smith's wrestling program. And, you know, I feel like we say it every time we talk about Tiger style, but just that consistency. And, and this could have been a rebuilding year for them, but here they are once again, the champions of the MAC. Yeah, and he's, you know, he, he, he won't be satisfied until he wins a national title. And then he won't be satisfied after he'll want to win another. But he's, he's that kind of, um, you know, coach that has, you know, great, uh, great dedication, integrity, built, has built a great program. And, and we've um, collectively, you know, he'll, he'll admit it now, he has one of the best wrestling facilities in the country with his, uh, in the Hearn Center. And it, it's uh, from their locker room to the, all their, their weight room. And I went up there a couple days ago and it's, uh, he's built a nice little uh, empire yeah. up there quietly as uh, he's up on the top there, no one bothers him and, and they get a lot done. And, and they've won a lot of, a lot of uh, gold and hardware with the, uh, the results of that facility and all of their work. Another Hearn Center resident is the gymnastics team and right there at, at number 21 in the country competing in, in what really is the toughest gymnastics league in the country and they're going to get going down the home stretch here this month and, and, and into March and what do you feel like has led to their success as Shannon Welker kind of starts to build the same kind of model of consistency as Brian Smith? Yeah, he has. He's, um, he's been nationally competitive each year and with his program and, and actually uh, freshman of the year, our freshman of the week last week. And um, so they're, they're, he's build, building youth, um, good people that are coming in and, and they're very competitive. I went to their last weekend to their, their meet and it's just, you know, very entertaining. And I encourage people to come out and, and watch um, all our programs. Wrestling, we've got a great wrestling um, competition against Arizona State coming up the, on Sunday and, and they're nationally competitive. And so uh, I, I think uh, all of our sports, we have five programs right now in the top 25 and, and they're not our most visible ones, but there's a lot of great, great performances going on with men's and women's swimming and gymnastics and, and uh, wrestling and then softball starting their season. They're, they're, they're down in Florida and uh, they're ranked 25th in the country. And, and, and speaking of gymnastics, Helen Hu is a tremendous freshman who, who recently got a 995 on the beam and told me yesterday at our Breakfast with the Tigers event, her goal is to get a 10-0. So there, there's two more home events at the Hearn Center. You want to see a 10-0, you might see it from Helen Hu on the beam if you show up the last two of those. You just mentioned swimming and diving a moment ago. I got to talk to Andrew Grievers the other day, and now in his second year, first year as, as without the interim tag, and they've had unprecedented success under him. What has led to that? You know, I, I think one, he's, he's grown up with it. His family is involved. Uh, his, his brother's uh, uh, an Olympic uh, level swimmer. And so, uh, so I, I think he, uh, one, there was a, the program was in you know, good shape as far as competitiveness. And I think they've taken it another level with their, um, with their work. And I, I think they, they continue to build that. Um, they're, you know, they have different strategies. I had a, a former coach from San Diego State. They were swimming in our pool uh, in this winter, and he said, "Your guy's doing innovative things, and he's getting fast, fast times." So we're all looking at him and, and watching him. So I, I think Andrew's done a great job taking over the program. Yeah, his brother, you mentioned a, a four-time gold medalist in the Olympics, and uh, just had a sit-down interview with Andrew the other day. You'll see that coming out on MUTigers.com in the next couple of weeks. You also touched on the Diamond Sports, baseball next week, softball this week. 
important seasons for both of the both of those teams in there. Yeah, absolutely, and and they have uh, you know a, an NCAA postseason man that you know no one agrees with, and and you know I still still have my make it right uh, yep. koozie that I, I I use every day, and 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 hopeful that something can be done, but. I, I, no one. I think they're they're really planning on making it a special season um, for each of them, and and obviously going to going to play a lot of people, and and but they didn't lose lose people, and and that just is the character of the the coaches and the staff and and the student athletes that they have in those programs that are going to represent Mizzou in a great way. So I I, I encourage them when the when we get some home home uh, games here uh, and it gets a lot warmer and there's no snow on the ground that we can we can go out and really support those teams. Full season preview with Mizzou softball coach Larissa Anderson currently available on the Mizzou Athletics YouTube channel and similar interview with Steve Beezer coming next week whenever they get their season underway. Mizzou Athletic Director Jim Sterk during a busy time of year, February, lots going on and we appreciate you watching here getting the full update on Inside the Huddle.